Knight Rider, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Just sit right back and you'll hear a tale, a tale of a fateful trip that started from this traffic port aboard this tiny ship. Exciting and new Come aboard We're expecting you Steve Austin. Wait, 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 wait. 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 A man barely alive. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Good morning, I'll be there. It, it floats, floats back to you. All right, it's the new introduction. Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. Don't be scared because I got a new intro. You've been complaining about the old one anyway. We'll get to the show in a minute. And just we'll ride through the intro and be back in a sec. Stronger, faster. <laughs> And tell, but I've been seen with fire up. I've never been with anything less than a nine. So, so fine. fine. I just cannot get it right. I'm gonna stop. Friday, happy days, the weekend counts. My 
Oh, you got your boy really good job. Okay, come on. You're a good dog. Can you wait? You wait, wait. Never find it. Go. Where is it? Never find it. Okay, lay down. You good dog. Lay down. Lay down. yesterday making this video. <laughs> Show's gonna start in like one minute. But I'm watching the intro too. <laughs> Oh, and just my favorite. Mm. Gotta love, gotta love the theme songs. Um, 
Yeah, we can have a topic on no-till soil, John Doe. Why don't you call 84 Grow Boss and tell me what you would like to know about no-till soil. Um, it's I'm really an indoor store. This is really like indoor cannabis. I'm really, I mean, you can grow outdoors, but if you put it in a pot outdoors and you come in and you buy a bunch of media from me, I, I don't know what you'd like no-till soil. Do you want me to tell you to... Do you want me to tell you to rotate crops? Would you like to do potatoes and then corn and then cucumbers and then zucchini? And then you, what? I, I, I don't know what you want me to tell you about no-till soil. People ask me all the time about what uh, what should I, what what kind of soil mix should I do? And, I, and I'm like, soil mix? Like, you're... you're You've got a 400 watt light. You're growing with compact fluorescence. You, you, and it doesn't even matter. Even if you were going, growing, even if you were growing with the best lights and the best whatever, even here's a guy comes in last week on the show, buys three bags of ocean forest soil. So I said, hey, why are you buying three bags of ocean forest soil? He goes, oh, I'm gonna transplant. Um, you know, I've never fed. And so what happened? I tried to, uh, I tried to sell him some nutrients and this was his plant. Um, hang on a sec. This was his plant that was outside and he has never fed this plant. Okay. And he transplanted that plant into this container with, uh, with three more bags. He didn't buy even buy nutrients. He just bought three more bags of soil. He said, fuck it. Look how big the plant got with one bag of soil and I've never fed it. So he decided to buy three more. And then he decided, just because it's funny, then he decided to uh, spruce up his plant a little so it wasn't so obvious. <laughs> it's like hanging red Christmas, Christmas decorations on, uh, on your... Uh, on your like little red uh, Christmas balls makes it look like a little apple tree. Check this out. That's smart, right? Now it just looks kooky, but definitely not like cannabis. So when you guys ask me to go over stuff like this, I mean, I suppose I could go over no-till soil, but I'm not going to do it if if you like, you know what I mean? Like if you're growing onions and vegetables, like that is definitely not what this show is about. All right. Let's see, what do we got? Monsanto wants to make GMO cannabis. Listen, if you if you speed, if you drink soda, if you have more calories and are chubbier than you should be, you don't need to worry about Monsanto. There are so many ways that you can improve your life. If you're not spending too much money at Whole Foods, 916, good morning. You're on at the Grow Boss. Hey, good morning, Grow Boss. Glad you took my call so early. Yes, sir. A quick question on, quick question on this kind. I got, I was able to pick up a kind LED uh, 750, <clears throat> but for my setup, I, I'm, I'm really, you know, I'm really using only a, a 400 watt. In the last two weeks, I go to a 600 watt uh, HPS. So, I mean, in theory, I'm never really going to run it at 100. percent But my question to you is, is you know on the, on the 750 because I know you, I see your videos you get you really uh, push the, the kind LEDs you like them a lot at 50 percent uh, would that equal 375 in theory at 50 <clears> percent <throat> okay so let me ask you this question if I tell you 3900 RPMs does that equal peak horsepower does that equal does that equal good mileage? Does that equal, is that a dump truck and you're about to spin a bearing? Is it a Ferrari or a motorcycle and you're not even in the power band yet? What we're talking about here is, what you're asking me here is, if you have 50% the light, is it equal to 350 watts? Let's say it is. But yeah. how about you just, let's say it's equal to 400 watts. How about this? How about you describe to me how big that light physically is? What is the footprint of that light? Ooh, I, Eight, 18 I inches. That question. Like, 18 inches by 18 inches. The light's about a foot and a half by a foot and a half. Okay. Okay. See what I'm saying? The dimension is a foot and a half so by a, a foot and a half. Okay, so what you have is 1.5 square feet. You have 1.5 times 1.5 square feet. Oh, my God. So what? 1.5 plus 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 1.5 pl
plus 0.7. So 2.25 square feet. You have 2.25 square feet. This is a four foot eight bulb. It is 400 watts also. It is two feet wide by four feet long. It is eight square feet. What I'm suggesting is, is that the question that you're asking is, is accurate. Yes, it's probably 350, 375 watts, let's say. However, it's 375 watts in 75% less area. I mean, think about what we're talking about here. This is a two right. by four, right. eight square feet, 400 watts. You have 400 watts in 2.25 square feet. Yeah, I, I, I see you're getting that. I mean, I'd have to, I would have to move that. I would have to put it on a light mover if I was going to. Right, or you would light. have was, to raise it. Was, raise it up. Well, either one. You either have to raise it or move right, it. Right, you'd have to raise Okay, cool. And that, that's what I, you know what? I was just looking. I just didn't understand. Because if you were to turn that thing down, I mean, I'm reading your book, watts equals weight. Um, so if you're turning it down, I think that the max on watts on this, XL 750. I think it was 420 what I was reading. So if you turn that down, you're 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 let's say half that. You're going to be at 220. Something. Oh, well, that. How does that? How does that turn around with your watts and weight and, and your book theory? So I, that, I just didn't quite understand it. I'm trying to put it all together. That's all. Okay. Listen, I can tell you. You know what? You know what? I'm going to do. I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to show you the video of exactly how to tell south park measure from oh okay south park oh, okay dude um there is a very <laughs> um hang on a second do me i don't think this one's it okay so okay this what does about penis size we can't just use a tape measure we need a scale and a protractor as well let's look at it on the graph here follow along. dude the with south your study sheets kids the south park the south park dude what mm. does matter is it's just it's just super funny because he's got this whole equation going on for how to measure Lay a protractor oh, yeah. as so, well follow along with me oh, on your no. study sheets kids there go. what that's it for that. Can't try anymore. Okay, so there's this huge equation for measuring it. So if we look at how to measure it from behind the balls, we're talking about, well, let's look at every vendor's website. Every vendor's website tells you their LED mimics the sun, their LED, right, gets more whatever, and it's a better spectrum, and they tell you that you, your, your, your dumb ass should put your LED 24 inches over the plants. Basically, what I'm telling you is that every LED manufacturer has no idea how to grow. Because anybody that tells you to put a light right. 24 inches over your plants doesn't know how to grow. Agreed? Yeah, you can kill it. Yep. Yeah. Agreed. Totally agreed. agreed. So what we're talking about here I, I, is... I, like, you know, the... Go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, sir. No, go I'm on. I'm saying that, that, that I just fact that this, this is a very dimmable light that... It, you know, it's kind of like that. It might be a really, a really perfect plight, you know. So I just, I just wanted to call. I just didn't understand the whole, I guess, the equation of the of the watts, the weight, you know, I mean, the watts and the, on the on the LED side. It's a little confusing when you when you look at the max watts on it. I'm like, ah, ugh, I better call. I just better call and ask. I just don't, I don't get it. Well, that that's my point is is if you look at the electricity, it draws 440 watts. I mean, that's the direct measurement of electricity consumed. What they're telling you is it performs like a 750 watt light. <clears throat> don't worry about that. Don't worry about the third in front of the balls. Pay attention to the to the back two thirds. But at some point, I'm just and, and listen, Kind LED makes a great product. But in terms of do I push them? Listen, they advertise in my book. There's there's no loyalty for right. me to buy Kind LED, Mars LED. Anybody that tells you that their light mimics the sun and outdoor bud is worth half of indoor bud, and they tell you that their light grows outdoor bud at half the value of indoor light, I mean, that's the reality of the situation. Outdoor is worth half indoor. And if outdoor is grown with sunlight and you're bragging that your product is just like sunlight, therefore, your product grows outdoor bud, therefore your bud's worth half as much. Then they tell you, put a 24 inches, then they tell you it's the perfect spectrum. They, and then the best part is I still, to this day yesterday, had somebody come in my store and ask me, 
Are LEDs there yet? What the fuck? Are LEDs there yet? LEDs are never, ever, never, ever going to be there with respect to growing cannabis, even if they were the same price as an HID light. I know because I sell them to good growers because good growers always think they're going to get better and they're going to do something else. I buy end up buying the LEDs back. How do you think I got kind LEDs? <laughs> I, and this is literally like, this is literally like my kind LED collection because a lot of stores don't like carrying LEDs because you tend to not make any money off of them. They have a much lower profit margin yeah. than the rest of the equipment in my store. But when it comes right down to it, boom, a couple of kind LEDs, two of the K3600s right there. And then there's two 750s right there. Now, I sold six of these to a damn good grower. These are, I bought four back. He sold two off. These are the last two I have left. Here's a guy who came in and bought that one right there in that brown box. That's a K5 1000 dimmable. Now, in all honesty, like I have more HID lights used than anything else. So it's not, I'm not suggesting that, yeah. that it's the product. Kind makes a great product. What I'm suggesting is this. Plants require nothing from you. They require less light than you think, less nutrients than you think. They require pretty much nothing from you. And yet, everybody wants to do more. <clears throat> so the 750s, uh, if C, uh, C. Firbus, if you uh, come into the store, you can have those 750s for 900 for one. You can have 800 each for the pair. Um, and so my observation here is, soon as you get a grower that thinks they're smarter than the average bear, Soon as you get a grower that thinks they're going to save money on heat, soon as you get a grower that goes outside the normal trajectory of success, it's over. It's it, it doesn't happen. And, and so yeah. if okay. you start with a product. All right, sweet. Thanks for the call. All right. If you start with a product that's outside the range of success <clears throat> and I can grow with LEDs, I can grow with every product in my store. I can grow with every product. Even if I say I don't want to grow with it, there's just as much reason for it like that. What I'm suggesting is it isn't what you think and the more you spend on your garden and the more expensive your lights are the less you end up getting and it doesn't matter what a facility does because you're not a facility this is like an indoor grow show <coughs> where we talk about like indoor growing stuff and leds they have even if you came in here and bought those leds at a sick deal right i mean what's the what's the argument for buying used with leds i mean the bulbs last fifty thousand hours you're never going to have to replace the bulbs again people come in and tell me that shit all the time and i tell you dude i don't know 20 growers that outlast three bulbs you know and i'm a grow store and i don't know 20 growers that outlast three bulbs it's a high turnover rate so all of these things that you're buying have literally have nothing to do with actually growing cannabis. They have to do with marketing. <clears throat> Got some last weekend. So Hanep, OG Kush, Mr. Hanep is picking up full spectrum LEDs today for our grow. Even if you got LEDs at the at HID price, I would never do it. Got some last weekend. Now to finish up. Now, as soon as you start saying, saying multiple LEDs, listen, if you use 440 watts worth of electricity, that LED is going to get 40, 440 watts worth of electricity hot. The light bulb, the lights don't get hot like an HID, but... The balisher, the, the, the components sure get hot. You're using 440 watts worth of electricity, man. It's going to get hot. And if you put up a couple of them and you got 1,000 watts worth of electricity, it's like an amp. It's going to get hot. As soon as it gets hot, you have to add an AC. Once you add an AC, why did you buy LED? Why, 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 did, you, why did you buy an LED? Um, Sin City Grower. I know nothing about LEDs and cobs and white light twitch. Nothing about drivers. Listen, man, I don't need to know any of those words. I made a video where we literally, <clears throat> literally, I made a video where... Where I, where I just thermographed and people can tell me, um, people can tell me, I don't know anything, whatever. Listen, man, I've got more degrees than most people. So we can start by showing me some respect that I'm pretty good at what I do, but I've literally am the guy who, who thermo, who thermograft LEDs 
T5s. I'm the guy who puts all the information. Crazy results, right? I'm the guy who puts it together, right? I'm the guy who, who, heat, who heat guns them. Here's the difference between them all, right? Here's me heat gunning a kind LED. <coughs> K5. I'm just saying. I'm the guy who has the results. So people can tell me I don't know anything, but I, I would just like to say that you are welcome. You are welcome. He knows nothing. I mean, dude, first he can't spell. Second, Sin City Grower. The number's 84 Grow Boss. Call me in. If you're an LED manufacturer, call me in. Tell me how stupid I am. Tell me how par is fucking awesome and how I can show you guys growing and, and you tell me all about par and I'll show you all about how T5 haters say what? Tell me all about your par. Tell me how fucking smart you are. Tell me how you need to spend a thousand dollars on a light when this guy did it for 200 per. Look at that bud and tell me there's a difference in that bud. You can tell me whatever you want. You can tell me how stupid I am. You can tell me that you know I know nothing. You can tell me that you know everything and you can name every component. But I bet you you don't know wavelengths like I do. And I bet you you can't calculate the different types of refraction like I can. And I bet there's a lot of things I can do. And you can put whatever words you want up here. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I'm... Uh, I just love this. I love it when you use, I love you. Okay. He knows nothing about LED, nothing about cobs and white light. TWCH, which, which I don't, nothing about drivers. Listen, you can put whatever jargon you want on there. I walked into Petco last night and I saw five people staring at the ground. I knew, I already knew what this was. So I opened up the door to the grooming and there it was, unconscious, unresponsive on the floor. So they're on the phone with 911. No pulse, apneic, boom, pull her flat and I started doing CPR. They put the operator on the phone with me, the 911 operator, and I said, hey, I'm a paramedic nurse. I've started CPR on an unconscious, unresponsive patient who is not breathing and has no pulse. And she said, Oh, listen, you're starting off hot. I don't need that from you. So I'm just telling you that there's a lot of people that, that are missing the point. Here's the 911 operator. I've never met a helpful 911 operator. They all want to tell you what to do. And I'm in the business. I was in the business of 911 and they can't do it. You can tell me whatever you want, but the reality is you can throw a few words, but you're listening to the show. So why don't I have a call from you? I mean, Sin City Grower, why don't I have a call from you? I mean, literally I'm on my show calling you out. Tell me how fucking awesome LEDs are because for every time you show me how awesome LEDs are, um, I'm going to show you a thousand growers that have LED problems. Garden rescue. I'll show you. Listen, I'm the guy who gets the, I'm the guy who gets the phone calls. I'm the guy who has to answer the questions. <coughs> I make videos about LEDs and how successful they are. I'm the guy who takes the picture. I'm the guy who has to take the phone calls and answer the pictures when this, when this comes up. When I get this, nope. When I get, when I get this picture, I'm the guy who has to take the phone calls when I get this. I'm the guy, I'm the guy who has to, who has to answer the questions time after time when I get this. Um, I'm the guy who has to answer the questions when people are killing their shit like this. I'm the guy who gets phone call after phone call with LEDs. I'm the guy, oh, this is my favorite. <coughs> I'm the guy who speaks to thousands of growers. I'm the guy, I'm the man. So I love it when you call me and tell me how you're the man 
and how I don't know anything. So listen, right now, right now, email me your pictures, show me how awesome you are, and then let's start from there. At least let's have a conversation where you don't just, you know what I mean? Here you are just posting some shit up, and here I am just waiting for your phone call. Where's your phone call? I mean, I'm up, right? I got Skype up. Here it is. I'm waiting. Anyway, so I know nothing about LED cobs and white light, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> the problem is, I don't believe you know anything about growing, my friend, because soon as you quote me statistics, and believe me, I will outquote you statistics both on the illumination end, I don't care if it's watts, if you want to talk lumens, if you want to talk par, spectrum, I don't care. I will out jargon you at any level, whether I'm right or wrong. I'll lie and use big words just because it's fun. I'll just say some shit. So I I'm just pointing out that I I'm waiting on your call. So you can tell me I don't know nothing. It's not like I'm banning you from a channel. All right, tomorrow we've got, and we'll just wait the rest of this show if I have to sin city grower for you to call but in the meantime i've got <laughs> you can't tell me why i'm wrong but you sure as shit can tell me that i don't know nothing but you can't tell me why i'm wrong all you can do is tell me i don't know nothing because you super smart and i'm not nearly as super smart as you are huh <coughs> Ah, I was hoping I would come back and Sin City would be waiting for me. Sin, dude. Okay, so the Hanep people, the grow, the lady Hanep sent me, we'll find out in a sec. Was that Sin City? No, that wasn't Sin City Grower. Who was his name? I just love that. I just love it when people tell me how smart they are or better how dumb I am and I love it when they just show up and they just write some shit down and they don't know how to spell I mean maybe if you're out of country you know what I mean second language that's fine but uh to watch and not call in after saying something like that woo, ballsy oh no still hasn't called me oh OG Kush Hanep OG Kush Oh, more stick. Nope, not more stickers. Oh, yeah. This is stuff. And I got more stuff. And this is... Oh, my God. I just got to deal with the lighting on my show or I got to deal with my bald head. Hemp Genix Pure Hemp CBD Oil Help Intensive Pain Rub. And if you want to call in with questions, the number is 84 Grow Boss because I'm going to open up my presents. And, of course, I'll do a little bit more review over... Oh, I'm just going to snort a line of that. Oh, you know what? Let's take a moment and let's... No, whatever this is, you stop. I'm still transmitting mic on. Okay, let's take a moment and go straight close up. Oh, please, 405. Hey, Sin City, tell me this is you. Uh, no, it's not. Oh. <laughs> but I do have a question. Sure. Um... I, Oklahoma is about to start uh, legal marijuana here in the next year when they vote for it. And so I just kind of want to have an idea of what's a good way to start off cheap and just get to know growing. And uh, you did mention LED lights with that guy. And so for me, as just somebody who's beginning, what should I be thinking about? And I don't necessarily want to spend a lot of money in the beginning as I'm learning. What do you think? Okay. I, I will tell you that a lot of people come to my store and they tell me they want to grow the best bud. And in a lot of cases, that's not really what they want. What they want is to be able to grow great bud. You don't want to grow the best bud. What you want to be able to do is consistently grow great bud. So I'm going to tell you a little secret about growing cannabis. And that is, it is like anything else. You are not going to do it a good job your first time. So the reality is it takes you three times to learn to grow cannabis. You kill it the first time, you see it happen the second time, and then the third time you start to learn how to super crop. And then you do three more harvests, and after six harvests, 
you will know moderately well how to grow cannabis. The question becomes is this, if you have one light and you veg then flower, it will take you 30 days veg, 60 days flower, 90 days if you start from clone. So if it takes six harvests at 90 days, it's 18 months before you get six harvests. Now you buy two lights. You can grow and flower at the same time. And now you get a harvest every 60 days. So if you get a harvest every 60 days times six iterations, and now it's one year. So a one light rotation takes 18 months. A two light rotation takes 12 months. And a three light rotation gets you a harvest every month six months if you want to learn how to grow cannabis what we're talking about is a three light rotation this four foot eight bulb t5 is a half a pound every time it finishes you put one four foot eight bulb in veg two four foot eight bulbs in flower that's 600 that's 600 dollars worth of lights you can hang them in three different closets they require no ac grow in soil you're at 750 bucks you know what i mean leave the closet door open and buy a box fan from walmart for 15 bucks off season 20 bucks so that's a pretty, that's the cheapest, fastest way to grow. So you're going to be into this for a thousand bucks. If you want to learn okay. how to grow in six months, if you just want to buy one of these lights, you could start seed for 30 days. You could, you could veg them for 30 days. You could flower them for 60 days. And now you're getting a harvest once every four months. And it will take you two years to learn to grow cannabis. So the question is, I went to computer school. It was $10,000. I quit the next day. Give my fucking money back. A bunch of people in the back row looking at porn and some dude up front reading from a book. Fuck that. I could do that at home. <laughs> and I did. And by the time I finished my testing and had my certification, they were halfway through the program. Why? Because I, what am I doing listening to someone else read to me from a book? The question is, what is the education worth to you? And what is the timeline compression worth? Because you, you're still going to have to buy a meter. You're still going to have to buy one fan. You're still going to have to buy a couple things. All we're talking about is two more lights and a couple more buckets. You still got to buy the nutrients. You still got to wait the time. No matter what, if you're going to do this for a year, no matter what, you're going to be doing it for a year. Do you want the most iterations or the least iterations? And that's a question that you're going to have to ask. See what I'm, you're going to have to ask yourself. See what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So what do you think your answer is okay. going to be? What do you think your answer is going to be? Well, you actually leaning towards where I was thinking and, and I just kind of trying to figure out, you know, if, those T5s are a good entry point, and it sounds like as far as heat goes, you're not paying the extra cost there, and I, I figure you're not paying the extra cost necessarily on the electrical side just for the light either. So, But I, I don't know. That's why I'm call, call and asking you. Okay. <laughs> so I'll tell you right now, if you're going to go down the path of concerning yourself with electricity, you are going to hate this. Yeah. It would be like buying a sports oh, car. I'm not, not really. Hate... I'm just, I just want to be efficient all around. Wait, no, 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 no. You didn't want to be efficient all around. What you wanted to do, this is hemp genics pain, CBD pain rub. And my back's been hurting. So I'm right now, while I'm talking to you, I'm sexifying myself yeah. with a little CBD pain rub. You'll, you'll come <laughs> through. You can watch me do it in a minute. But I'm going to report on this hemp genics stuff. So I got to get the process started. Mm -hmm. All right. Listen, what I'm suggesting here is I need you to make a decision. And the decision is, uh -huh. w the decision is, are you the chicken or the pig in this bacon and egg breakfast? Because I'm going to tell you something. When it comes to growers, all right, thanks for the call. Um, when it comes to growers, I'm going to tell you something. There are, there are two, there's a chicken in a bacon and egg breakfast. I just would like to point out that the chicken is involved but the pig is committed. In a bacon and egg breakfast, the chicken is involved, the pig is committed. And all I'm suggesting is, I want you to understand, because this happens all the time, I'm about to tell you a customer story, how it happened yesterday. And by the way, I have the uh, front gate open, so if somebody comes in, I can try to lure them into being on the show and on cannabis information network, which is my other channel where I'm more business oriented in the hydroponic market. I was sitting here doing my webcast for stories and vendors yesterday. Boom. 70 year old grandma comes in. 
growing. You know what she tells us? This literally, I'm interviewing a 70 year old female, super nice. And, and she gives us the most surprising information on the show. And if you want to know what that is, you'll just have to watch cannabis information network. That was yesterday's show. Um, yo, I got to tell you, my back feels better already. I don't know. I, I don't know, but I will tell you that it feels like it's a little better already. Okay. Um, when I talk about bacon and egg and a pig and a chicken, um, having breakfast, you know, the breakfast, you know, I'm making light of a very real situation. And the situation is this. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I forget. Um, listen, if you guys are in Texas or you guys are in Florida right now, I, I totally forgot. I wanted to say something up front. Listen, I hope everything works out for you guys. Your hydro stores there are safe. And, uh, and that I know it's a big deal. You know what I mean? If you're, if it's any kind of distraction, if you want to call on the show, if you want to tell us a little bit about it, um, if you want to share something with me, I'm here for you too. I mean, it's a show about cannabis, but if you're out there and you want to talk to us, I'm here for you. Give us a call, 84 Grow Boss. Um, otherwise, stay safe, guys. And, you know, I can see the viewership. It's not a holiday. I can see the viewership's down from where it usually is. And I know I'm supposed to tell you to like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and like the, the video, like the show. But again, it's a hell of a thing to go through. I mean, we've got some huge storms here in Las Vegas, but for us, all that means is the end of summer. So it's a blessing. So anyway, I wish the best for you guys. Um, we're talking about, uh, we're talking about, uh, about the type of people that grow cannabis. And I always tell you, soon as you think you know something about growing cannabis, oh, this is the peppermint flavored drops. Soon as you think you know something, soon as you think you're going to get away with something, you're going to blow your grow. I mean, there's no way for nothing is going to happen. Just like when I walked in yesterday to PetSmart and I saw everybody looking on the floor. There's only one th There's only one reason. There's a group of people standing around looking at the floor. I don't need to see what that is as I come around the door. I already know. There's just some things that are just the thing. And there isn't. Okay, so this is peppermint drops. That's delicious. I don't know. I'm sure there's some sort of dosage on this, but there are certain things that can only be certain things. 904, you're on at the Grow Boss. Hey, man. Um, hey, what's your email address? The Grow Boss at yahoo.com. All right, cool. I'm going to send you some pics. Are you, uh, are you, are you Sin City Grower? No. Oh, you're not the LED guy. Okay, send me some pics. Send them right now, and if I if I can get to them on the show today, I'll do it. If not, we'll try for tomorrow. Um, we'll see how it goes. Send me some pics. Cool. Send me some pics a couple of feet back, so I can see the lights and the and the plants. Send me a pic, a couple of close-ups of the leaf. Get us a sideways one, so we can see the garden. Get us some of the buds. You know what I mean? Like, spoil me a little. Send me some pictures, right? <laughs> gotcha okay. all right all right thanks so much i look forward to getting them all right now this is the orange flavor drops from from uh ooh. i don't know how many drops that was oh, doesn't matter i don't know who touched it either ah, ah, it could have been anywhere it's some glass jar coming through the mail that i just licked the side of whatever <laughs> So there's a lot. I mean, if you think about it, if you seed them for one week, vet to one month, veg them for two months and flower them for two months, dude, your plant is five months old. Think about how many relationships you've had that have lasted five months. And then how many of you had that have lasted more, I mean, more than five months or less than five months. Dude, I got to tell you, my back feels better. This is the cold one. Okay. Okay. I'm in. I'm in. You're going to have to wait. Uh, 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 oh, dude. I did it on the one side. <laughs> ah, listen, my back's been hurting. I've literally been taking Vicodin for my back. And when I say I take Vicodin, I take an eighth of a Vicodin. One Vicodin probably lasts me two days. I can't take any more than that. And I won't take them before I go to bed because the last thing I need to do is wake up. Look, you know what I mean? Looking for Vicodin. So totally a difference in my back. Totally. 
hempgenics.com. Totally a difference in my back. They they sent me this stuff. They paid me nothing. Totally a difference. I'm let you know what? Like you can feel it. Like I can feel it. Hempgenics.com. Like like in a little bit of um no, that's not that's not this isn't right. Oh no, because it was something like hempgenics dot us or something like that let's go to this there we go we'll just work oh this is oh close hurricane irma they're not going to be shipping totally not just irma i mean it's like irma jose and katiana or something so oh this is the cold freeze that's not the one that i'm on but uh you know you know oh wait i took you ever get a, a shot or something and you can taste it I think, I think I can, I just licked this. So I, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not bad, but I think, uh, I think I rubbed it into my back and I taste it on my tongue. Huh? That's interesting. Hemp Genics. Here are some of their products. That is super appealing. Some of their products. Anyway, growing cannabis is a lot about the grower. And if you want to call in, and especially if you're a Sin City grower, if you want to call in and uh, tell me why you're smarter than me, <laughs> or you have a question, or you want to talk about cannabis, we truly hope you enjoy your products provided by our sponsor, Hempgenics. For us, these products have been amazing and has helped in many ways. You know, I got to tell you, I'm feeling like warm. Like my shoulders, like the back of my head. I mean, the doors open today. Are just We just got it through and through going into the store today. Doors doors open in the front of the store. I mean, I, I know I'm going to show you the construction in a minute, but I just knocked a hole right through this motherfucker and into the back. And out the back. So we got the back door open. I got the front door open. We got a nice breeze growing, going through. But then I'm not in a... <laughs> I'm not in a tornado. All right. Oh, 210. Maybe 210 is the man. Is this Sin City Grower? Good morning. Hey, how's it going, Grobos? Not Sin City Grower. It's going okay. What can I do for you? Hey, how's it going? Um... Actually, I was just, I had a question on, uh, you know, light movers in the relation to uh, LEDs, you know, because a lot of people nowadays grow LED and... No, uh, no, I wouldn't really say that fact, it. sir. Sir, I would not say that fact no. at all because I'm the guy who sells the equipment and there is no condition that I would say that there is a lot of people growing LEDs. In fact... It just I would, seems like most of your calls are like LED calls. A lot, well, a lot. I'll tell you why. That's because they're failing. So, of course, they're calling because the good growers aren't calling me with questions. Okay. Hey, grow boss, I'm awesome. Can you, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have any questions. So, I'm just calling well, you for no, see what yeah, I'm saying? I mean, yeah, I see what you're saying. I, I bought my lights. I bought my LEDs. And, you know, I'm going to tell you I did fail, but I couldn't afford to to not fail. You know what I mean? I was already at that point. So I had to continue, bought the light mover and, you know, got good at uh, using the flashlight basically to grow weed, you know. Um, it, it was tough, but, you know, uh, try and try again, you know, and then I got, I got better at it. And it's kind of learning to kind of look at the plant and see, look at the leaf, see which way, which direction it's pointing, see if it wants more light or if it's miniaturizing. Like just basically learning from you and, you know, how you explain to look at plants. I understand. All, all, how, so, so you got, so you got this. Uh, you had to grow. Basically, you said you couldn't fail. So, let me ask you: How long did it take you? You bought your LED. How long did it take you to learn to grow? Uh, probably by I would say the fourth grow, around in the middle, um, kind of like getting. Hey, that's too much light. Hey, that's not enough light. Hey, that's too many newts. You know what I mean? Like just kind of looking at the leaves and uh, kind of studying, you know, them, uh, you know, even like 
changing they'll change after i guess maybe three days or so um by, by moving the light you know closer or further away and and it's kind of that relation is like you know where you know how how high and 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 you know because you have the light mover moving as well plus you know how high you're going to put it or how low you're going to put it and that's really really hard to figure out and i was going to see if you can maybe help me or help people figure out easiest way to do that you know um okay i totally understand your call thanks for calling me too um okay so i'm going to tell you what the easiest way to do it is it's pretty simple don't buy an led because there's no benefit to an led um and four times is the average time it takes somebody who watches my videos to learn to grow you should be able to do this within four times and you should be able to learn the minimum <clears throat> the, what I would like to point out is that the guys who grow good and then buy LEDs return them because they don't produce like the manufacturers say. But I would just like to point out that if you don't put the LED 24 inches over the plant like the manufacturers say, and if the manufacturers say they grow outdoor bud because their spectrum's so perfect and outdoor bud's cheaper, and the manufacturers charge five times as much than all the other lights, there's all of these negative things, and I'm telling you from boots on the ground experience, it doesn't work like they say. So you're asking me how to solve a problem that is unsolvable, don't use the product. I mean, here I'm showing you in this video, you can see the light mover against the back wall. I mean, you can see the light against the back wall. My question is, why would you buy a $200 light mover on top of a $750 LED when you could just buy one $200 supersized hood? You could just buy one big hood that would cover the whole space. Why are you buying a light mover? Why are you... I mean, if you can't afford the electricity so you're buying a light mover i mean you're buying an led because you think you're going to save something then why are you buying an expensive light and if you can't afford it why are you buying a light mover and if you can't afford it maybe it's not the hobby for you and if you can't afford it suddenly you're in the position where the manufacturer is giving you absolutely incorrect information you are absolutely buying the wrong equipment i am telling you that if you show up to a gunfight with a knife you're going to lose that if you show up to an indy car race with a dots in 210 you're going to lose you're either and that's what i keep telling you it's not the product it's the grower i could grow with leds if you gave them to me i would never grow with an led if you gave me a warehouse full of them i would never grow with an led why it's not going to get you the yield it's not going to get you the same results I, how can it just the shape of the lights different the spectrum is different apparently when you grow with an led you grow half price bud at least that's why I keep getting the LEDs back because you don't, whether you don't get the quantity or you don't get now would adding a hundred Watts of LED to a thousand Watts growing skip like an HPS light. Does it do something? Listen, I've got facilities that come through my store that tell me that they're testing bud and that they're going through iteration after iteration and they're testing. So what they do is, um, one of the ones out here, the, the customers, they all come shop here. They all come and love, tell me stories, tell me how much their hydro stories are making. So one of the facilities, what they do is they put 50, they start with 10 different kinds, 50 of each, and they veg them. They pull the best ones out. They take clones from them, toss the rest. Then they flower them and then take the clones. They raise them and they flower the clones. Then of those, they take the best out and they mark it and they narrow it down to see if they want to keep the strain. What I'm telling you is that a facility that knows how to grow requires three or four iterations to pull the best plant out of a strain. Yet they get 50 seeds all marked OG Kush. So they start 50 seeds. So how come they pull the best five out? They, they don't tell me what light they're growing with. They just say, we pull the best five, we clone those, we track those. We start 10, you know, we start 10 strains, five of each. Now we got 50, we mark those, and then we keep the best ones from the... Dude, they don't tell me anything about nutrients. They don't tell me what light they're using. They're looking for a phenotype. They're looking for the way a certain strain expresses itself. How, how do you think... You think they're trying to figure out the right nutrient for each 50 on a tray for 500 plants for the first round? For 2,500 plants on the second round, you think they're trying to... Fuck that. They get the same nutrient. They use powder 10, 10, 10. 10, 0, 0, 0, 10, 10 nutrients. 
at 100 ppm. All I'm saying is, there's a lot of myth. And soon as you think this is any kind of intricate, soon as you think cob matters or that you know something the plant doesn't, you know what I mean? Like I'm telling you, less, less, less. You're telling me smarter, smarter, smarter. It's not even the same field. That's probably why we haven't heard back from Sin City Grower because he's super smart. So smart, he know. You know what I mean? Like, I've literally got this guy, and it's not just him. It's literally every time, every time I, uh, every time they tell me something, in my head, I'm always thinking, wait, I'm always thinking, uh, dude. I'm always thinking, um, this, hang on a sec. Um, um, <laughs> okay. Everything. You tell me everything. Good. Was he a tall man or a short man? Oh, you tell me. No. Yeah. Yes, he was a tall no. man and okay. yeah. no, he wasn't a no. short man. No, I'm so smart. Everything. He tell me everything. <laughs> so smart. I, you I tell mean me. the man who robbed this place yeah. today. Okay. 910, you're on with like? the girl boss. Yeah, okay. He look like a hey, man. what's up, girl boss? Good morning. Okay, but what is Hang face? on a sec. Hang on a sec. Yeah. Hey, I was, uh, I, I just call in to basically uh, agree with what you're saying right now about LEDs. I think uh, you're 100% correct with what you're saying. And uh, uh, I think one of the problems is because it's, uh, it's something new. Everyone wants it. You know, that's when I first started growing. Everyone wants an LED. It's the newest shit out there. But they don't, they don't have the experience. You know what I'm saying? So they fuck up and they buy the newest, hottest shit out there. But they don't realize, kind of like how you talk about cars and you compare it to cars. But they don't realize the old 80s. Uh, manual driven car is way better than this new DHC 10 speed Honda Civic. What? 10 speed you know what I'm saying? Tiptronic transmission, four shift, continuously variable transmission. You know why you don't see a five year old Chrysler on the road? Because you got to throw them out because of the transmissions. I don't know what the fuck it is they can't build a car with the transmission. Yeah, totally. <laughs> But I would like yeah, to point this so, out. But I'd like so, to point this out. A new grower wouldn't matter which light they buy. They're probably going to kill their shit. All I'm saying is that from from what I hear you say, you say they come in and buy the LED because it's the newest shit. But LEDs, I mean, all that's happened is they've just got a bigger brand name, and uh, you know, and they just got more expensive. But they've been around for six years. People have been saying, "Oh man, is it there yet?" And then the next customer comes in and says, "Oh man, I hear it's there." And then the next customer comes in and asks me, "Is it there yet?" So LEDs have been around. For years and years we're way beyond saying it's a new product we're way beyond saying they're not there yet they're, they're they don't have anything to do with growing cannabis that's that's the problem here you're trying to but i'm, but, but I'm saying it's new compared to other type of lighting but the thing with the led they grow i mean yeah that's what i started growing with and that's what i had my experience with they grow but it just takes a longer time to figure the damn light out because the center is so ballistically hot the center whatever the one foot by one foot of what the light i have two lights in my tent to spread them out but it, in the center of each light is is way too intense so if you're too far out the way that you have to grow your plants differently either you grow uh let's say uh a main line it and make the your plant kind of v out and let the center light go down the hang on a sec hang on a sec listen listen tent. listen absolutely not absolutely not that's like saying you have to drive every car different bullshit a red light is a red light and you stop and if you go through the yellows and you're in the intersection in the yellow you're gonna get t-bone because i don't care if you grow with this t-vibe an led a cmh an hid there's always a hot spot because it's generating the light from some point so it's always what you just described is the and thank you for the call what you just described is the exact same learning curve too much light too much water too many nutrients it has nothing to do with the led you sir would have had to learn those mistakes whether you bought an led or not what i'm suggesting is is that your comment was you seemed really focused on learning how to grow and you casually casually referenced the yield by saying it'll grow 
my point is you could here's a t here's here's yeah here's t5 haters say what listen this t5 will grow too and there's no hot spot this t5 will grow too so will the cmh and the hid and listen the 400 watt hid doesn't have a hot spot like a thousand so listen i just want to point out that everything that you've described is applicable to every garden it's irrelevant of the equipment. These are the rules of the grow. These are the rules of the road. These are the rules of the personality of the people that grow. All I'm suggesting is, is that unless you treat, find, treat, and deal with the true nature of the problem, if you talk about the symptoms, you cannot cure the problem. And you, sir, are talking about symptoms relative to many things. Anybody that wants to grow is going to have to go through, I say three grows minimum. And that was before my book and everything else. And then it's three grows of trellising. There's always a hot spot. That's why we're always talking about the distance of the light, how far the light is away from the plant. There's always a hot spot. Yeah, Bob Sand, I think you're right. You might just be better off growing weed. Listen, I got. Jackie 420 coming in tomorrow. He's going to press nugs and we're going to get high off. I'm going to see if I can get so high off CBD, uh, off, off wax, that I have an anxiety attack. And then I'm going to smoke these CBDs and see if I got to come down. Because I got to tell you, my back feels a little better. It's definitely warm like Ben Gay without the stink. I do taste it. And my back definitely feels warm. I can feel it. I mean, they could have, listen, for all I know, they could have put a little jock thing what they icy hot icy hot they're gonna put a little icy hot in there whatever it is um okay so jackie 420 is coming in tomorrow i'm gonna have him say everybody's name that's listening just because he's so awesome we're gonna squish some nugs <clears throat> and uh tomorrow i made my best video so we're gonna squish some nugs um, Lady Hanep, thank you, and your husband, thank you so much for the product. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so what did I get for used equipment? You know what? Let's uh, let's do a little used equipment segment. Let me take you on a tour of the store today. It doesn't look like I'm gonna get super smart. Sin City Grower gonna call me? No, sir, he's not gonna call me. But um, I did get that. I did get that four burner yesterday, brand new in a box, never been used, 40 bucks. That's what I sell them for online, at, I mean, on, in the store at the four burners, 379. But then I don't exactly get a warranty with it. And I don't exactly like, you know what I mean? I already have one in my store and I still already sell like one a year. But I got that. I got a couple of hoods. Uh, they just had somebody that just got sick. It's an unfortunate situation and they just had to sell their stuff, but this is the front of my store. They never got the chance to start growing. Um, I got a couple of just hoods like that with the glass in it. I literally bought them both for 10 bucks each yesterday, sold them out last night for 40 bucks each, but shit, I got another 20 of them behind the store. You're welcome to for 40 bucks. So the store is coming along pretty good. The best, you know, there's my grow boss corner right there. Um, we're still getting the shell sort of squared away what we're going to, I'm trying to make it so customers don't go in that area. Um, I'm going to turn this area into some more shelves and that's because I knocked a hole through to the, to the back room. So now you're going to be able to walk through, you'll be able to come through some meat croutons and I'll have all this going on. I'll put a couple more, uh, TVs back here and you'll be able to, um, do, you know what I mean? Look at all this shit. This is what my store, because I had three stores and I closed two of them and we shrunk them into this location. And I got deals on those T5s that I sell. And I got deals on the stacks of hoods that we have up there now. Like uh, right up, there's some fans and you can see just to the right, I got a bunch of hoods up there. That corner's not lit yet. I got a little bit of track lighting up in the store. It's not on at the moment, but there's some track lighting up there in the far corner back there. Um, or just making a little tunnel that'll go through. You can see like there's like the tunnel. It's not bad. It's coming along pretty nice. It should be like another 
you know, like another two weeks or so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the back into like a full on display where, where like we're going to cover it with black Panda, like we did back here. And then I'm going to print big stickers. Oh, by the way, like the channel, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, like the videos. We got 180. We're about to set a uh, Saturday record. I got the store open the front door. Maybe we can trap somebody to come in and talk to us. You know what I mean? Like come in and get on the show and hang out with us for a minute. Uh, I got an extra, I got an extra mic for them. I got a mic for Jackie 420 tomorrow. So you can smash some nugs. We're going to do some wax dabs. I'm going to smoke some CBD. See if that brings me down. Just do a little more absolute nonsense going on in the store. Um, I've got to open in a couple minutes, but nobody's here. So if you have a question, maybe we can get one more in. Otherwise, let's smoke a bowl together. Doodle -doo. <laughs> let's just smoke a bowl together. Ah, yes. You know, I'm going to tell you something like, like I look at this like, uh, like it, it, for me, this is a lot like, and you guys refer to it too. It, it's a lot like the matrix where, where for, you know, I think about this in terms of, you know, everybody wants the truth, right? But I don't know if everybody can handle the truth because. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the matrix is. I can't tell you how few nutrients to use. You have to see it for yourself. You have to do it a couple of times yourself. This is your last chance. You call my show. After this, there is no turning back. And there's no turning back because I'm you just going to tell the you the truth. Pill. You call my show. The story ends. You wake up in your bed. You've and taken you the red pill. Whatever you want. You take the red pill. Ah. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. And I don't care if how deep the rabbit hole goes is this computer that has literally 12 USB things stuck into it. And if Chuck shows up that works in my store, I'm going to have three microphones. You remember how, remember the problems I had with the microphone at the start? <laughs> and now I'm up to three microphones. I had no idea how far this computer rabbit hole went. I had no idea how far my redo was going, my store remodel was going to go. It's always easy to, you know, as a paramedic, I walk in the door and I already know. You assess the patient and you know everything from where they came from to where this is going. You can tell in seconds. And even, you know what I mean? Like the kind of guy I am, I, I had no idea I was going to turn the back into a model where I can approach the vendors, make a video, excuse me, live, the grow boss in all his glory. That, that shows in the back. I'm literally going to get stickers of windows, put them on the panda paper. I'm going to open up a two duct AC and run the two ducts up to a sticker of a window. I'm going to set up a grow back there with a split AC because growing is changing and the demographics of our market are changing and the growers that come in our store are changing. And if you watch that video on Cannabis Information Network from yesterday, where I had that 70 year old lady come in and tell me about a super secret society of 70 year old ladies that have been growing dope for 20 fucking years. I was like, so what got you started growing? And she looked at me like I was stupid. 70 years old, looks at me like I'm stupid and rightly so. Looks at me like I'm stupid and says, I've been growing for 20 years. You just see me now. And it occurred to me, how many times have you heard me tell you that we've been getting, I've been selling $500 systems to 79 year old women. How, how many times have you heard me complain about that lately? A lot. Cause I'm like, dude, I didn't get in this business for 79 year old women. I got to sell shit to sell picks and axes and shovels to gold diggers to 18 to 49 year old, dumb, stupid, aggressive males like me. That was what I got in this business for, for the profit. Okay. Listen, I don't mind selling stuff to grandmas. Clearly the market's changing, but if you want to know the most surprising thing she said, watch that interview. I did with her. It was about five minutes long with granny gangster, granny. Oh dude, off the fucking hook. She literally schooled me on the, on the video that while I, 
you know, Sin City Grower, he shows up and he says, oh, you don't know nothing. He leads like his balls are bigger than mine. Grandma comes in and quietly disciplines me. Schools me like I know nothing and she was right. That's why I don't get a call from Sin City because you can post up whatever you want. We all know what people do on the internet. Boom, you post some shit without a second thought. And then you realize, oh, really? Because if I speak to him, then I'll need a second thought. Sin City Grower. Anyway, so 70-year-old lady gives me this spectacular piece of news. While I'm talking, I literally stopped me in the interview. While I'm talking to stores and vendors about our new demographic, she schools me right in front of him. But that's how this works. We create a narrative based on the facts and we adjust our narrative as new facts come on. We identify our obstacles, our strengths and weaknesses, and we combine them in such a way <laughs> 407 i hope you're sin city grower hang on one sec we combine them in such a way that we use our strengths to overcome the obstacles and turn them into positives and we use our strengths to combine our combine our strengths into producing better results 407, what can I do for you? Good morning. Hey, it's Queen Bee. How are you? Oh, Queen Bee. Good morning. You seem like you have time for one more call. Um, I'm thinking about buying an HPS for my little 4x8 setup. I pretty much filled the entire scrog now because my plants were kind of flat already, as you remember. Yes. And so I was thinking about, you know, adding an HPS bulb and just kind of wanted to get your idea of what you think is the best quality. I mean, on Amazon, a lot of them seem to be falling apart um, when they get them. And I just don't want to have that experience when I put up $250. Okay. <clears throat> um, right now I am, I'm, I'm grabbing Okay, so I've got, you've just sent me three pictures. Let me, uh, let me open this up. Give me one sec. I'm going to put your pictures. Let me organize, let me organize this for one sec. Uh, cause I, I have your folder. If I, by the way, I am taking my, one of my LED lights and putting it as side light. Just so that I don't have to use it as a aquarium light. <laughs> Um, okay. You did talk in your book a little bit about side lighting, so I am putting an LED on the side, and I'm afraid it might hurt the plants or burn them. Yeah, right, exactly. Listen, there's no reason to bother with it. There is literally Don't no reason with, to okay. Yeah, there's no reason to bother with it. Um, let's just pick the right light for you. For instance, um, okay, so why can't... Okay, I'm, I'm, let me just, I'm trying to find your picture open with, oh, Windows Explorer, there we go. Copy, okay, there we go, let me just, uh, I'm working on putting your pictures together so I can just show everybody what you and I are talking about. There's Queen Bee, put the pictures here. Okay, I have got, um, I'm, oh, no, but I don't want to open it like that. Hang on, it's almost I'm almost caught up with you. Yeah, I'm only about five or six days into flowering now. Okay. But um, my tops are filling up everything, and I kind of thought, you know, it's pretty cool to build something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm super Not proud that, uh, of you. Um, okay, so I, 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 I have a picture up. Um, I have a picture up of of your of one of your scrogs i'm pulling up another picture hang on um listen your plants are is this email that you sent me a couple days ago is this accurate is this recent this is recent yeah. right okay i don't think you yeah. should be adding more light you've got a long way to go i think you should literally be doubling your plant count or doubling 
the size. That's not enough plant right there. Doubling. Yeah, the, I'm showing the canopy right now. Um, this isn't enough uh -huh. plant. You don't have all the squares filled. I think next time you're going to grow a bigger plant and you'll have a better time. But don't well, add have, don't yeah, add anything have, to this. Yeah, because I didn't want to put the. I have one auto flower that's growing under an LED light of all things. But I kind of like LEDs for one plant only. But I plan to move that auto flower. Is that a bad idea to put mixed strains? Because you always kind of say in your book of a strain of a kind. Under of a, a light, kind, right? right? Of a kind, of a strain under a of light. A size. But yeah. I also say, uh -huh. if you don't start flowering with a top in every hole, where are you going to put the buds? So right now, listen, your plants look good. Don't do anything. Just start vegging the next round, and just this one is what this one is. It's all it's ever going to be. Um, it, it, it's all it's ever going to be. Oh. Uh, let's see. Did I get an email from Sin City Grow? I I'm just saying, enjoy this round. Um, it's, oh, yeah. So it, much more to, to the next time through. Yeah. Yeah, you really can't I, go backwards with a plant. And your plants look good. I don't have any advice for you other than grow them bigger or double count them. So if you have another plant, listen, add it in. It's a party. Yeah, well, that's, you know, that's what I was going to do. I was just going to move the auto. It's almost big enough to sit with the other three, and uh, it'll be happy to be under there. And uh, But we didn't get, well, do we have time about uh, HPS light? Um, do you have a particular brand name that you prefer? Ushio always throws a great, if you want to, uh, if you want my personal favorite in this particular case is, uh, because I actually have this video that I made and literally like there, I mean, here's the, the colors of Ushio video. Let me put this up, uh, colors of Ushio video. And here's a video I have, uh, yeah, of the colors of Ushio. You can really see the difference between uh, the no name brand and the actual brand with my super size sunglasses that I use in the video. So. There's an example. Listen, Queen Bia, I am going to have to sort of end the show. I appreciate the call. Let me say thank you. I understand. Thanks okay. for taking my call. All right, bye. And Queen Bia is chugging along. And the, and she, you can't up the light. You don't have enough plant. Up the light's going to get you nothing this round. Because if you increase the light, you didn't increase the plant. So it's still the same thing. Um, squish the caterpillars. Can I spray for caterpillars week seven of flower? No, you really can't spray week seven of flower. Uh, I mean, if you want to share your butt, I mean, you can't spray week seven of flower. So, okay. So I've got, let's see, this is, uh, I just got to see what this. Okay. So Sin City. So we just got this dropped off. Dude, Sin City's, apparently Sin City's doing a good job. I mean, look at that. I don't know really. I mean, I, I got to tell you, I, I don't know how that's really any different than uh, than this. I mean, both buds look pretty happy. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can see the floor. The problem here is that I can see the floor. The problem isn't the light. The problem is, and here is, uh, let's see. So here is, the problem is I can see the back wall. I mean, I don't care if you grow with this LED and HID a T5 or whatever. I mean, the problem is that bud looks like every other bud. And the canopy, look, I can see, where, where's all the bud right here? I mean, it doesn't matter what light you're growing with. If you don't fill up the canopy, but I, again, oh, he's got too many newts. You can see the tips. A little more CalMag, way less, 50% less newts and 20% more CalMag. <sighs> That's all I'm saying. Here, let's subscribe. Blam. We'll like his video. I'm the first. Look, all I'm saying is that looks like any bud. So why is it that cobs are better, Sin City guys, Sin City grower? Why is it that cobs are better? I mean, you say I don't know anything about them, but that looks like, first off, it just looks like a small bud. Second off, I don't know why it looks any better. Third off, when I see those brown tips and I know you're overfeeding, 
I just got to wonder why you're, you know what I mean? Like, you can tell me, oh, you don't know about cops. And I'm like, hey, but you don't know about growing dope. I mean, I don't, please don't put your hand in front of the bud like it's giant. Please don't like put it like for reference and show me like giant bud. All I'm saying is when you don't have the canopy that you're supposed to, you're going to get that top four inch bud. But where's the 16 inches below it? I mean, there's 10 nugs in your garden. You know what I mean? Look, they're, they're, where's the dude? You look at that. And then you look at, you look at, you look at this, you look at this and you go, wait a minute. That's a lot of nugs. And then you also, you look at, oh, dude, this is always the best. Uh, the Thomas, the Thomas files. You look at this. And you go, hey, this is so Thomas sent us the whole series of videos. You look at this and you go, hey, there's a lot of buds. There's a lot of tops in there. And then you look at this and you go, eh, Sin City Grower, there's not some. Oh, my God, the canopy is three feet apart. How do you get buds that are almost halfway through flower? Let's hope those buds were halfway through flower and not seven weeks. And then you got. I mean, you can tell me all you want about cobs and this and that, but in one second of your video, well, frankly, in just about every second of your video, I mean, it's not like you're running a flawless game here. I'm just saying it's easy to, uh, it's easy to comment and run. I'm just saying it's a lot harder to be on the back end and have somebody come and do it to you. I mean, I don't show up at your work. You see what I'm saying? There's just a lot to grow in cannabis. And clearly you are very far away from where you should be. All right. So I think I got green thumb. Oh, green thumb. Oh, congratulations. Green Tom, whatever. Green thumb. Congratulations. And we're going to go over green thumbs pictures tomorrow. All I'm saying is that top has like six, I mean that plant or how many ever plants that is, has like six thin tops. Is your LED better? I don't know, man. If you veg that thing under an LED, woo, no wonder you get flowers that look like this. No wonder you're missing, you should have four times the tops, five times the tops. And listen, Sin City Grower, you're welcome to come on the show and talk to me. I mean, it doesn't have to be, we don't have to be each other's arch nemesis. And even if we are, dude, we could totally, we could totally have a truce. Come on the show, hang out with me. Teach us all something about cobs. Listen, I'll serve you a cup of coffee and show you respect. There are lots of ways to grow. grow. There are very few ways to grow correctly. And there are very few ways to grow cannabis and win. Trust me. That's why... I sort of set project grow store aside. I mean, project grow house for a minute and I finish, I'm finishing the store because what I do is I help explain the equipment. Oh my God. If I had to go and do project grow house right now with everything else, I'll get there. I'm working my way through there. I've still got this hole in my store and we still have to do the back of the store so I can get the vendors to pay me. Cause that's what I do. I get paid by vendors. Anybody can show you how to grow in a house, but I'm going to set the equipment up here. I'm going to demo it all for us. And then we'll take it to a location where I grow when the videos are done. And I got project grow store. I made that video that came out great too. Dude, you guys are going to love my tunnel. And it's 1015. It's a rainy Saturday morning. I hope everybody in Texas stays safe. I hope you guys, I hope you guys recover quickly and smoothly and with a, at least stress as possible and traumatic. I went to Texas. It was spectacular, right? The Gulf Coast is brutal. You know, I've been to Florida. It's brutal. Survival is brutal. It's a tough thing. You know, and I've been to mass evacuations in a hotel. I can't imagine what 2 million people are, you know, moving out of town, leaving everything behind. I got to hand it to you guys. I, I always wonder, like, you know, why isn't there like an emergency, like a luxury emergency response team that has trailers where it's 500 bucks a night and you can go and just rent a trailer 500 bucks a night. Boom. You just stay 100, park 100 miles out. I'm, I'm really wondering why, like, we're not organized. I mean, like, this is a brutal week in terms of the planet. I mean, if you think that if you're any kind of things align or things come together, if you're any kind of metaphysical or maybe not palm reading, but 
dude, you got to hand it to the people who didn't have the technology today to navigate by the stars and to understand the relationship that there are different types of people, but there are very similar groups of types of people too. When you take all that into account, we've got the biggest X-Wing spot, the X-Wing flare, CME, a coronal mass ejection come off the sun. That's today, tomorrow, and Monday hitting the earth. We've got three storms in a row that's going to sink Florida and drastically reduce our population and ability to live, all part of climate change. Because listen, global warming is not bad for the planet. Global warming, let's be clear, it's bad for humanity. It is not bad for the planet. She don't care at all. I mean, she's been much hotter in her history. She'll wipe us out and start over. And we have this thing about egocentrism where we think humanity is all knowing, but fuck that. I mean, it's super fragile and it'll collapse in a heartbeat. And we are, we have zero preparedness. The instant there's 1% of the population gets sick, all government is over 3%. The power gets shut off. It's a fucking disaster and there's no preparedness for it. And so you, you, we can see it. Listen, there's no preparedness. I'm a paramedic. Drive around people to the hospitals on Tuesday afternoon, on Wednesday nights. They're packed and overflowing because of the nonsense that goes to the hospital. I'm just saying that the government super babies us and they really don't put it in perspective or tells it like it is. 1% Vegas is, I'm 350 million people. They say Equifax breached about half the United countries people right uh, in their in their data release 143 solar flare giant earthquake in mexico the largest storm possibly breaking the records behind irma uh, you know what i mean like they're talking about they don't i mean you just don't have to make land disappear all year long you make it uninhabitable and suddenly floor is no longer inhabitable I'm just saying there are lots of degrees and variances to a theme, and it's just like anything else, whether we're doing it like this, you know, when we're talking about cannabis or we're talking about <clears throat> any situation, you have to be able to see the forest for the trees and you have to be able to see the trees and you have to understand the relationship between all of them in a way that you can't see to be able to truly understand. Even when that lady yesterday, she gave me a piece I wasn't able to see when you watch that cannabis information network. All right, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the videos. Um, go ahead and get on Sin City. And let's see what uh, Sin City, what you guys have to say about Sin City Grower. Because, listen, there's nothing funnier than hundreds of you, your comments. Like, dude, there's nothing fucking funnier than a bunch of smart, you know what I mean? Just like a bunch of smart Alex, smart dudes. Uh, <laughs> just, dude, you guys are fucking funny. Semit and Barnes is back. Yeah, the, the increasing of charting of natural disasters has absolutely increased. And it's not just because we've got a more, a more instantaneous society. <clears throat> it's, actually, it's actually the increase is going up. Um, clear answer. I'm eating homegrown tomatoes and cucumbers. Uh, uh, dude, pick me, pick me. Um, all right. So I'm probably, I'm going to like, I got to get a customer soon. Otherwise I'm going to have to start cleaning something. So let me just say, listen, I appreciate everybody watching. Let's, uh, let's smoke one more bowl and, uh, you guys have a good Saturday. Stay safe. Troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Your name. Just a good old boy. Wouldn't change if they could. Fighting the system. This is still like a two modern day on the hood. guys are still here
Uh, why are you guys still here? Why aren't you guys making videos for the Cannabis Information Network? Yeah. Mm. You guys are just sitting here smoking bowls with me. <sighs> it's so inappropriate. Ah. Uh. That's probably what I should start doing every day. Probably is like at 420, I should probably just every day at 420 Vegas time, we should probably smoke cannabis together. Good grief. Oh, um, dude, if you guys are here, you want to talk sponsors? Okay, Clonex Solution. Dude, I gotta tell you, they've got everything you need to start seeds and clones, right? You start the seeds with a little bit of Clonex solution and the Root Riot starter plugs. You add a little bit of the Clonex gel if you're starting from clones. You'll feed them a little bit of solution. You'll spray them with the Clonex mist right before you start clones. Green pad over here, uh, CO2, you know what I mean? Like for small gardens, one, two lights indoors, hiding my computer. There are so many good products in the industry. There are so many good products and then but there's really only like 10 different things that you need i mean you can make 500 products you know what i mean like you can do anything you want but the reality oh mondi check this out oh yeah you gotta monitor the humidity inside of mondi dome boom check it out mondi humidity dome just put a little piece of tape across the back side so you can have a little flip like that put your little mondi dome on a hinge mm. i gotta tell you though like the store is, the store is, oh, you got your green pads last night. Let's see. You have a video on Thrips. No, Thrips is super easy. No, no, Thrips super easy. Thrips are gray spots, black dots. Meh. In fact, I'm literally about to put out a book that's just straight troubleshooting with like gray spots, black dots, and a bunch of pictures of Thrips. So let me leave you on that note because I think I got somebody showing up here. Um, I appreciate, I appreciate you guys. Stay safe. You know what I mean? Do something kind. Watch out for something.